everybody, this is another video. I'm recording a lot of videos today, and this one is about what is a heat pass. Now, if you're on your hair journey, you know that um, you're not going to be using heat on a regular basis, and you may limit your heat to maybe a specific time during the month, for example, maybe once a month. And what a, a heat pass is, is when you use heat one time or two times I swear I'm not understanding what the sirens are about. Don't judge me. Do not judge the sirens. Okay, <laughs> a heat pass. Normally, when you're on your hair journey, you'll, it'll be eliminated to one time or two times a month. So that's your pass to use heat on your hair, maybe for that one day and then you won't use any more heat that week. For example, if you flat iron your hair, you'll wear your hair flat ironed that whole week. Only time that you'll be using heat is that one day to get your hair flat ironed or that one day to get your hair curled. So that basically is a heat pass and then you would maintain your hair for how many days you want to wear it straight or curled and then you'll go back to your regular regimen. For me myself, I do my heat passes once a month and normally I don't take my heat pass. My heat pass is just optional if I choose to. But when I do take my heat pass, I'm normally just blow drying my hair or curling it. And then for however many days that I choose to wear it, which will be the minimum or the maximum of maybe four to five days. And then I'll go back to my regular regimen. So, oh, my legs. So hopefully that answered some of your questions on what a heat pass is. If you're not familiar what a heat pass is, because I don't use heat on my hair on a regular basis, and a lot of people on their uh, hair journeys do not use heat on a regular basis. Because using heat maybe every day or every week is not healthy. And the reason for the heat pass is because since you're eliminating so much heat, it just gives you a nice um, way to enjoy your hair. Because the less heat you use, the better off your hair will be, and I noticed that. And the less heat you use, the better chances you are of retaining length because you're not frying your hair and all of that stuff. And of course, when you use your heat pass, you're going to be using your heat protectants and you're going to be wrapping and um, moisturizing your hair properly, as depending on your hair type and what you need. So, hopefully that answered some people's questions on what heat passes were. Um, I don't think I left anything out. I used my heat pass to create these curls that I have. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to put that down in the bottom bar.